Hey guys, Ryan Lutz here, and today I want to talk about setting your throttle endpoints on your car so that you're not wasting fuel, so that you're getting optimum fuel mileage and your car is going to perform at its best. So what we want to do is we want to get into our endpoint function on our radio and forward for throttle, and we want to set our endpoint. Now one thing to keep in mind is you never want to open your slide further than the Venturi size that you're running. You can see here I go just to the very end. That's the maximum you want to be able to run. Because think about it this way. On the infield of a track, you know, you're running these low end throttle inputs and you're not opening the carb all the way. And everything might feel great. Then you get on the straightaway and you're hammer time. You're full throttle. Now if you're opening past the end of that Venturi, all you're doing is allowing more fuel into the car, but you're not allowing air because your air is limited by your Venturi size. So you're simply richening your mixture and throwing away fuel at the top end. So if your car just feels like it goes flat on the straightaway, that could be why. So what you want to do is, we found on OS-based engines, which the Bullwin engine is, is that a measurement between 58 and 59 millimeters seems to work really, really well. So let me show you how we do that. I'm going to set it to my normal setting here. And what we do, we put the calipers around here, leave them loose. And then open it to your throttle endpoint and take your measurement. So you see here I'm at 58.65. So that's between that 58 and 59 range that I talked about. Now the difference between those ranges, say you're at the 58, you're going to have a little bit less power. It might be a little bit smoother, but your tuning window is also going to be smaller. If you're at the 59, your tuning window is going to be a little bit larger. And then the difference here for fuel mileage wise is you want to go as small as you can while still having all the power that you need. Once you go too small and you're on the throttle more because of the lost power, you're not going to get better mileage. But you can keep going smaller as long as you have enough power and you're not on the throttle more. Now how this, um, this measurement can translate to other engines is, let's see where I'm at. So this was 58.5 or 0.6. So we're going to take that, we're going to zero it on a closed carburetor, and then we're going to open it up and see where we're at. You can see it's about 4.88. So that's a measurement that you can do on any carburetor and that can get you close to what we're running here with these engines. So that range is probably going to be between about 4.75 and 5.25. Somewhere in there is where you're going to want to be on any engine you can do that. So another thing you want to make sure you have, guys, is a throttle return spring. So that way, if your linkage were to pop off, it'll allow it to shut. Let me see if I can show that really quick. Oops. You just want to make sure that that closes if your throttle linkage would ever pop off. And that's how I set my throttle endpoints, guys. So thanks for watching. Any questions you have, feel free to shoot them in the comments down there. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.